Good morning. It is uh, Sunday, September the 5th, and uh, getting ready for day four out of five. I think today, I was going to make today a long day and tomorrow a really short day, but since I get another hour back tomorrow, I think I'm, and like I was, I was going to stay in Missoula, and the hotel prices are really high in Missoula, and they're not very high in like Butte and Bozeman, so I think I'm going to do a short day today, mostly Montana, <clears throat> and uh, probably kind of try to have like a full you know, evening to go have dinner and go for a swim at the hotel or something like that. But taking a nice walk in Gillette, Wyoming right now. And uh, we've reached the grubby t-shirt and sweatpants portion of the trip <laughs> where the good laundry is uh, either packed away or not clean. So we press on though, day number four. So in Wyoming, not only do they have stop signs, just in case you don't know what that means, they got a whoa sign. All right, and I uh, made it to my hotel in Missoula. Ended up getting a room in Missoula. Paid for it. Oh, I, I forgot like almost completely that it was Labor Day weekend <laughs> and that people might be traveling and doing stuff. Uh, in fact, tomorrow is Monday, Labor Day, and so that's gonna be, I have a bad feeling traffic is gonna really suck going from Eastern Washington, Idaho over to Seattle because that's kind of how everybody vacations. Um, I didn't take as many videos the second half today. The smoke was really bad, the wildfire smoke. I talked to somebody in Butte and they said that it was from Colorado fires that had worked its way up here. Um, you know, usually in Washington we get it and it's from British Columbia and Oregon gets it from California. And so I know Oregon's getting real bad right now. Grants Pass was telling me they had uh, pretty bad air quality right now. So hopefully that gets better in the next couple of weeks, but uh, it sucks driving through. I mean, it's just some of the most beautiful part of the country and it's burning or smoky, so. Uh, the other thing that was really kind of sad was Livingston, Montana, is uh, it's between Billings and Bozeman. It's like 30 miles before Bozeman. Um, it's this really cute little town. Anthony Bourdain used to always go there. I think he went there on like two or three episodes because like his friend that wrote Legends of the Fall was a poet that lived there and would show him around. He'd go fishing, do the whole nine yards. But it's this really cute little town that looks like kind of a throwback Montana town. And... Like a bunch of the restaurants were closed. Uh, the one I have gone to many times, it's called the Ribbon Chop House, excellent, um, was just closed on a holiday Sunday. And it's normally open 11 to 10. And so when I went to get gas in Livingston, the, I saw a hiring sign. And obviously everybody's short-staffed, or a lot of people are short-staffed in a lot of businesses right now. And the guy was telling me that it, like three restaurants have closed this summer and a few just are only open for to-go orders because they just don't have uh, staff. So... That stinks. Uh, anyways, uh, gonna wrap up this. I, I know this one wasn't very good. I'm so, I failed you guys. I thought some of the intro beauty shots of uh, Montana were all right. But uh, yeah, back home tomorrow. Hopefully the smoke's not bad in Washington because there's a few places I want to stop and uh, and show on the, uh, the videotape uh, for the vlog. So uh, if you enjoy the videos, hit the thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe. Getting closer to a thousand. I can, I can taste a thousand. I can taste it. That's it, though. God, I, I, I'm so awkward in front of the camera. This is why I love that my jobs do not require me to be on camera. I, I mean, this is obviously best suited for radio, but, um, like, I, I, you know, I twitch, I move around. I can't, I don't know. I don't know how TV people do it. I can never do it. I like being the voice behind the curtain, like Oz. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great night.